name is Cormac Moran, and I'm the bar manager here at Carry Nation. Carry Nation was the leader of the Women's Christian Temperance Union, which was a, a lobbying group that forced an act of prohibition. She herself was very anti-alcoholic. She spent her life trying to get people to stay away from booze. And now she, her name is proudly blazoned across the front door of a restaurant, speakeasy and full bar. Carry Nation's right downtown in Boston. So we get a lot of people who work in the city, live in the city. In the front we have our dining room and bar where people come and eat and drink, hang out after work. And if people want something a little more seductive, secluded, they can come all the way back here to the speakeasy. One of our signature cocktails here at Carry Nation is the Queen Victoria. The drink itself is essentially a riff off a cucumber gimlet that we just ramp up with the Prosecco and the Egg Queen Victoria itself is a nod to the mother of Carrie Nation who was committed to an assail asylum because she believed she was the Queen of England. To make the cocktail first, we'll uh, muddle some cucumber, get that to a nice pulpy texture. We're gonna add some gin, lime juice, mint, elderflower liqueur. We'll shake it up, get it cold, strain out the ice. I'm gonna add the egg white then, we'll shake it again so it gets a nice frothy, foamy texture. Pour it into our chilled champagne coupe. I'm gonna top it with some Prosecco and uh, a little crushed black pepper. The Queen Victoria you should taste nice, fresh, summery, garden-type flavors. This cocktail is so popular, firstly because visually, it just looks like such an elegant, decadent drink. As soon as it hits the dining room, people are asking their servers, oh, what's that? Can I get one of those? People are then not let down by the taste, so they end up ordering them over and over again.